Dope Boy TV back in this thing with some more topics on the floor, man. And if you want to be a part of Dope Boy TV gang, all you got to do is put it down in the comments, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We got the doughboy tv gang what's going on man we must talk about another banging topic that's on the flow man we got to talk about poo shiesty and the beef he got in his home city with his old gang man the people he started with his day ones man it seemed like all these rappers day ones come out and expose them when they get the fame so we're gonna talk about ceo shiesty man now the gang that Lee Chopper used to rock with, man, is not rocking with him no more. They feel like the man has switched up. And it's a couple people out his old camp that he used to be very cool with that's been dropping diss songs and all type of stuff trying to slander this man's name. And it's crazy because it's a couple of upper rappers that's dealing with the same situation, especially coming out of Memphis. Now, and then it's crazy because it's like it's the people in Memphis, rappers, speaking on rappers that have these situations with they old people because it's like, man, I don't know if it's just a thing where it's like you got to, you know, I mean, let me let me put it like this. OK, I'm going to just tell you some real stuff. Right. So in the game, you got to understand that everybody can't go to the top with you. In other words, that means that. When you growing and you getting better in yourself, you might have to delete some of the people that's holding you down, man, straight up. And that's just the truth. And it seemed like, I mean, that's the decision some people got to make when you're trying to be a million dollar man. And NLE Chopper probably made that decision. But at the same time, some people ain't seeing eye to eye with this man. Some people don't like the way he rocking. Some people might just feel like he ain't supporting the hood enough. You feel me? He claims to be a gangbanger, a crypt set, whoop de whoop whoop. You got to kick in with them type of people. You know, you got to pay ties and, you know, all type of stuff where it's like, man, maybe he's not doing the right thing where, you know, he want people to help him with certain situations. But then it's when it's like, man, the hood need help when they beefing every day and every night. You don't want to pay for the uh, uh, no bail money. You don't want to pay for the, you feel me? But these are the people who going to go crash for you and and. and these are the people who go make sure you straight and make it to your shows. People ain't trying to rob you, things of that nature. And it's like, bro, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like, man, the people you started with, man, you got to show some type of love, especially when some of your first songs was with these people. And then everybody going to ask, like, why you ain't around? I mean, you got some of the same situations going on with Young and Ace, uh, Moneybag Yo, uh, one of the hottest rappers out. You get what I'm saying? Pooh Shiesty. Free that man. Because at the end of the day, he got his old group saying some stuff and he's saying some stuff. And it's like, bro, it's always three sides to the truth. Three sides to the story. It's they side, his side, and the truth. Straight up, man. But y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. And it's going to damage his career because it seemed like them man is out for blood, man. And people know about Memphis. And if you know about Memphis, they ain't playing out there. And they look like they really want that man. You feel me? And they exposing him on a lot, saying he ain't street and he ain't this and he ain't that, man. So what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments? You already know who it is.